All right, same trailer park, different ditch. If you guys want to see the weirdest aquatic plant I've ever found, I'm gonna see if this is one of them. You gotta get way under them to get the roots with it. This is an aquatic plant. I find them in here all the time. I think this is thick leaf Sagittaria. It's really, really weird. I mean, I think that's a Sagittaria. I'm not sure. But I mean, this is what it looks like. But you see, it's got hair algae and stuff all over it. This is where they grow. This is why they say plants like CO2 and nutrients. Well, this is where they grow. Most aquatic plants aren't really truly aquatic, but these kind of are. I haven't. Well, no, these are probably. These can probably grow outside of the water. Here's another one of those. If I'm pointed at it here, here's another one of those little. Or I said I found like looks like crypts. You can see the non-aquatic leaf melted off, or that might have been an aquatic leaf melted off. And this little green plant here, these are always coming up with it from the roots. Now. This could possibly be either just regular grass, but this could be like a Sagittaria plant. A lot of Sagittaria plants, when they're growing outside of the water, will look kind of like this. And then when they're growing in the water, they look like the Sagittaria that you buy. But those little cryptocorn looking things that I found this is them I do find them growing in the water submerged completely so I'll take this with me and I'll take a couple of these with me we'll just we'll plug them in there and see how they do well I mean I'll obviously clean them up and sterilize them first but you can see the you can see the aquatic roots in there. Aquatic roots are usually very, that, see that leaf was melting, but normally, see there's, that's probably a runner, maybe that it grew from or that it grew to another plant. A lot of times the leaves will, I mean the, uh, the roots, you'll see the white ones with the lines through them. Those would be like the good new roots. Most aquatic roots are usually kind of white, but sometimes with valisneria's and plants like that, certain plants. Let's see if I can get under this. The first time I didn't collect these because I didn't really want to dig my hands in here, but I'm not really scared, so. I have found aquatic snails in here, and I have seen fish in here. So here, I got a couple of them. And where's that crypt thing I found? How many do I? One, two, three, four. I got four of these. This crypt looking plant. Um, here's those Ludwigias that I found. So I'm gonna take these and go. And of course you can see another plant growing here. Um, I've taken one of these home before, but it didn't grow very well. It grows like it would grow like one really long stem and then it would grow like one leaf and then grow another really long stem but that's that might be pennywort but it might be another kind but I mean I don't need that let's see what else is in here Ludwigia Big ass Ludwig, yeah. That's another one. And when I put them in my tank, they start red like this, and then as they grow in, they, they turn green because maybe my light's not high enough, or because I don't CO2. I don't do CO2, I do liquid carbon, but I'll probably explain that later too. Just to do it. I just get another one too. 
All right. Take these home. Give them a peroxide bath. It's just a gross ditch. It's where you, it's where you find stuff like this. The crypt plants. This is one growing out of the water. So I mean, like I said, they it might they might not even be crypts. Could be just a regular weed. That's another one. A couple of them I planted in my tank were dry like this, and then a couple of them I planted were found in there, in the water. The ones in the water obviously will probably grow better. The other ones will start melting and dying away like they're transitioning. But you see the kind of conditions a lot of this stuff grows in. There's one of those plants. See, it's not really, it looks aquatic. It's either like, it's kind of like a Valsinaria or a Sagittaria, but obviously it doesn't want to grow outside of the water at all. It touches the top and bends over like these. Could be maybe a type of Sagittarius or something. Some Sagittarius underwater look one way and then out of water instead of soft they will be like giant stems or giant grasses. Some Sagittarius growing outside of water will actually look like these. But anyways, I'll clean these plants up later. I'll show you how I clean them up and I'll plant them and we'll see what happens.